Hey Plum Bloomers, so yes, this is the third video. I know, I know, I know. So this is the last video for tonight. And this one is don't do these on your periods. That's my new wave. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing love? Go subscribe to join the family. And without further ado, let's get inside this video. So number one is wax. And um, my opinion, I think that you should wait till after you um, can't come off your period. Because first of all, um, you're already like going through pain like and like cramping and then you like wax and then like it causes bruises and it makes it even more sore down there and hurt down there. So I just feel like that you should wait until after your period. But if you can handle like waxing down in the area, especially on your period, then hey, go ahead. So number two is don't indulge your cravings. Even though you want your snack so bad or you want this fast food so bad, you can't always give in and just go ahead and eat the bad crap. You're supposed to be eating very, very healthy, especially on your period, because eating all them carbs and all them sugars can worsen your cramps and make you very, very bloated, and it's very uncomfortable, and it hurts a lot. So, what I always say is that if you want to eat your snacks, that you should start portioning it out instead of eating the whole entire thing. And it's very important that you eat very, very healthy on your periods too because you want to make sure that everything is good down there in the stomach and you won't be bloated and cramping real bad. I remember when I was on my period and I ate a lot and my cramps got worse, but I still continued to eat it. So it was like, just make sure that if you're going to eat something, portion it out and don't eat the whole entire thing. So the next one is don't forget your hygiene. Hygiene is very important, especially when you period. You cannot miss a day without showering or taking a bath, especially on your period, like especially. You have blood in your butt crack and in your coochie, and if you have hair down there, you have it stuck inside your hair, and you don't want nothing bad to happen. And bad, I mean like a smell starting to form, and then it's already sweat down there, and you already wearing a pad, and just make sure that you are wiping right, and when I say wiping right, I mean using baby wipes and then using um, toilet paper. Don't be just using toilet paper because after you take a shower, you still have these bathroom and you're still bleeding. So it just makes sense that if you go to the bathroom, you make sure that you use baby wipes every single time. And then you use uh, tissue to pat it dry and go on and about your day. So I just feel like hygiene is very extremely like important when you're on your period so don't be slacking just because you don't feel good or you lazy or tired or anything make sure you do the important things first these don'ts do on your period these don'ts do these don'ts don't do these on your period i don't know I hope you guys enjoyed these don'ts do on your period. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below, what else you want to hear about. If you have any questions, just comment in and I would love to answer back. And this is the last video for tonight. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a great Friday. I love you. Bye.